<sighs> hey guys, head over to my shop at uniqueus.com. That is U N E Q U E L Y U S dot com for designs that I've made. You know me, an OG, pick only what's OP, and nobody owe me no thing but a trophy and a fat check. We're mad zeros like tempo. Put my enemies in boxes like Bento. One second. Hey everyone, Speedy Tempo here, back with some more Pokemon Sword and Shield, Let's Play, live stream slash video, gameplay, walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see in the title of the stream, I'm going to be taking on the fighting gym in this episode, or the stream. So once this goes out as a video later on, uh, it should be a premiere, so if you're here for the premiere, uh, I'll be in the chat live talking with you guys if you want to and we can just enjoy the video together so before we begin maybe wondering what this uh, triangle here is so yeah the plan for today is we're gonna fight Bea or Bea in the fighting gym and gonna get her badge so to do that we have our team here Got Rillaboom, who evolved last episode, which I think it uh, was uploaded today on Saturday the 1st of February. Got Barrascuta, Corvusquire, Limp Biscuit, the Tranquil, Carcoal, and Toxtricity. But I believe I'm going to switch out one of these because you may notice that against a fighting gym, Carcoal isn't going to do so well. So, I'm going to take him out and I'm going to replace him. Bubble 2? Well, you may remember the last time we sent a bunch of our Pokemon out into Poke Jobs and out for a whole day, so yeah, it should be done by now. Alright, first up we got Sizzlepeed and Vulpix coming back. Let's see how well they did. Great job. Received lots of experience points. Wow, that's a lot. It's almost 11,000. It's over 9,000! Okay. So he gave me two nest balls. Okay. Alright. And this one... We sent out, oh yeah, these three. All right. Job completed. Not a great job, but they did it. Struggled a little. Really? They're all grass types. Oh, God's Floor gave me 200 Poké Bucks. Okay, cool. All right, this one, the Wheel Lord, Whatever. <laughs> Sent a bunch of our bug types. Yeah, they did alright, it seems. Uh, a little more experience points than the last one. Struggled a bit. Uh, Dotler has $300 for me. Okay. And we sent out normal type Pokemon for this one. Who did we send? Meowth. Of and oh, they did well, it seems. Great job! Only a thousand two hundred experience points. Okay, Pito gave me a loaf of bread. Okay, cool. All right, got some more poker jobs here, but I'll do that. I'll do that later. But the one I wanted to take out for this gym is actually. Well, I was thinking I could bring out uh, Applejack and evolve her. I probably can do that, but she's still too weak. Sizzlepeed might be able to do something. So, let's put Sizzlepeed in the bottom of our party. And let's see if we can 
make some noise, but first let me make sure I have enough items. Yeah. Uh huh. Alright. I think I'm good. But first I wanna reorder my Pokeball Pokemon team. So I'm gonna put Corvusquire up first. Then Rillaboom. The biscuit and then Toxtricity. Barrascuta and Sizzlepeed will hold up the bottom. I want I wonder if Sizzlepeed can evolve this episode. I hope so. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Now we go into the town. Deep into the town. Hey Maractus. You know, sell me, any, sell me anything, okay. Look at our bargains. Cracked pot. Why do I want a cracked pot? I'm not sure what the significance is. How about doing an errand for me? If you can bring what I need today, I'll give you a good reward. Buying a tiny mushroom. Don't I have tiny mushrooms? I thought I'd pick some. Like in the wild area. Did I sell them already? I may have. Yeah, I did, apparently. Oh well. Oh, it's Hop. Oh, before you go, that what is going on here? Um, um, where is your mouth? <laughs> That's a good question. Hello. Temperature control is very important for cooking. Yeah. Gotta keep stirring the pot, make sure it doesn't burn, but also doesn't spill it. Alright, good to know there. Oh, a shiny item. Two XP attacks. Two X special attacks. Want to buy some ruined souvenirs, they're quite valuable, you know. You can only get them here. I've already got enough luggage, mate. They do look cool, though. And I guess the only one to talk to is Hop. Speedy! I'm still not too sure what I should do about all the stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm going to try out all kinds of different things against you to see, see what works. You're on. Then let's do this! I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. Alright, another rival battle. Alright, let's do this hop. Cremorant. Oh, you got a Cremorant. Didn't expect that. All I'm after is victory, and I'm counting on you to help me grab it. Okay. Let's use Joe Peck for the first time. Ooh, that looks nice. Uh oh. Gonna see Cremorant's ability in action, I see. Alright, well, home claws, I guess. <laughs> better, better than nothing, I guess. Increase that accuracy and attack. Alright, it should have a Pikachu in his beak. <laughs> okay, I mean, I knew it happened, but I didn't expect it to happen on the first time. I see it. He still attacks with the Pikachu. Oh, and it paralyzed me. Dang it. Wow. Okay. Okay. Alright, so the P's up to level 30 now. Let's move. Let's learn to slam. That small body? Really? Uh, his attack is higher, so. I want to keep coil. Don't want to lose bug bite or flame wheel because those are both stab and bite is pretty. Eh, how to how I'll I'll keep what I have. Yeah, give up on give up on slam. I wonder if that means it's going to evolve soon. Wait, you still have a drizzle? You didn't evolve it into um, was it Inteleon yet? This is going to be uh. <laughs> 
This is gonna be one-sided. Oh, sucker punch. Okay, of course. Well, take this drum beating. Rilla boom, realest man in the room. How you doing? Wouldn't want to. Who wouldn't aim for? Sp I can even. I can even read it. <laughs> All right, let Biscuit leveled up. Toxel, you got one too, huh? All right, uh, poison electric. None of my Pokemon are good for that. So I guess I'll send out my own. Toxtricity. Was Toxel always that light purple? I don't remember. Alright, uh, well. It's not gonna do very. It's not gonna be very effective, but. I stand corrected. I mean, it was not effective, but so did a lot. <laughs> That's for sure. You just gotta make sure it doesn't use flail. Cause that, that, could, be, that could be really bad. Alright. Got him. Hey, what's up, mindless gamer? How you doing? So the Cobra. Alright, we'll switch out to Barrascuta. Ooh, Barrascuta! <coughs> Still can't do that work very well. I don't know what I can do to try to win now, but all I can do is try. There's nothing else to it. Yeah, you got that right. And Aqua Jet. <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, he's still alive. I thought I would have taken it out. Oh. It's good to hear, Mindless. Yeah, let's use Aqua Jet again. It's got priority. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We're in the desert. It's still the, the heat. It's making my water attacks less effective. I forgot about that. Yeah, I could have gone, gone, yeah, gone out to Rillaboom, but Rillaboom's already higher than everyone else in level. My strategy goes right to the pot, right to pot when I've got all of this bad thoughts running through my head. All right, Slipeed evolving. Oh, Tranquil's evolving. I didn't expect that so soon. I mean, I expected it soon, but not this soon. Yeah, we got an unpheasant. Nice. I think I only ever had a female unpheasant. I never had a male one, so I've never seen that mask attachment to its face. The proud Pokemon. Unfeathered are exceptional flyers. The females are known to, for their stamina, while the males outclass them in terms of speed. Okay. Yes! I knew it! Silipede is evolving. Yeah, baby. Sent the Scorch. Awesome. Oh, that looks creepy, but so cool at the same time. Radiator Pokemon. When it heats up, its body temperature reaches about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. It lashes its body like a whip and launches itself at the enemies. 1500 degrees? Really? Wow. Well, thanks for that, Hop, for letting me evolve two of my Pokemon from you. Hmm. I try switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but. We just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer. And I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder. And harder and harder till no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. I'll have to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. Alright, good luck, man. Whoa, what the... That's the second time she's done that. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? 
We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, he has something for letting me watch your battle. Why do you have... Uh, I'm not even going to ask anymore. <laughs> Why does everyone else have everyone else's lead cards? Now, on you go, child. You're headed to the Stow on Side gym next, no? The gym challenge is having, uh, having fun. Alright, see so you at your gym challenge in like a year <laughs> at that pace. Alright, well, I gotta. Well, let me go in here first. No, I can't go in there. Oh, I can go in there. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for choosing my flying taxi. Please take this TM as a token of my gratitude for your patronage. Is it fly? Yes, I knew it. Finally, I can teach. Uh. I could teach Corviknight, I mean, Corvus Cor Corvus Scorch, Corvus Squire to fly. The first airborne taxi in the Gala region was a Corviknight. We've been keeping the tradition ever since. Thank you. Alright, now I got a good flying type move. Well, a better flying type move. Whew. Look at the squad. <laughs> Just gotta get Corbin Knight. And we all, we be all peachy. All right. First things first. Fly. There it is. Corvus Squire. In replacement of. Uh, I don't want to take away drill pack yet. Home class could be useful. I was going to get rid of the pluck. That yeah, works for me. Pluck is pretty, pretty weak anyway. So, and do we want to teach Slim Biscuit too? What's Slim Biscuit's moving moves again? We can get rid of Gust. Doesn't even have that great special attack, so. Yeah, I'd rather keep Quick Attack than Gust, so. Yep. And poof! Alright. So now we got a surefire way of beating Bea. Bea, Bea. Speaking of which, let me see her lead card. Or how do I check the other people's lead cards I have? Should be here. Yeah, there's an album. I'm blind. Alright, hers look pretty cool. Got Rayhan with his fangs there. Opal. Bed or bead. I'm gonna go with bead. Oh, those are their signatures. Okay. Kind of looks like a mix between like like Latin letters and and uh, Japanese like characters. Uh, oh, sorry. What? <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't know if Hop gave you his too. Is of course Leon's. Why, is it, why doesn't Rose have like a number? Also, why does he have a lead card if he doesn't like even battle? Huh? All right, well, time to go for the gym. What's over here? What's that noise? Oh, there's, there's Diglets down there. Oh, I got a cracked pot. Oh, that's what it's for. Oh, it's for, um... What's the name of it? Uh... T... t Poltegeist? Yeah, that's the Poltegeist, yeah. Oh, I can hop down here? Oh. 
I didn't know that was actually something you can walk on. Oh. Another for future reference now. How do I get to those diglets down there? Can I even get to them? Uh, I guess not. Alright, let's go to the... Wait, it's over here. It's over here. Now, can I go over here? No, I can't go there. Alright, time for the gym. Finally. Hey, ball guy. Hey there. Thank you for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. That bag on your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special Pokeball. Is it a heavy ball? Yep, figured. That could be useful. You could run across the snow like or something like that. Yep. Heavy balls rock and roll at catching heavy Pokemon. Pretty straightforward, right? If you're a big if you're a fan of big heavy Pokemon, then this is the Pokeball for you. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Yep. Hey. It looks familiar. Many challenges have already given up their gym challenges, but you and your Pokemon have been hanging in there. Thank you. Oh, we got a old guy here. I'm doing my gym challenge while I'm raising my Pokemon, but I may have to change my team members. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, I got a map of the stadium. Cool. Very detailed. You're a gym challenger, right? Are you going to apply to this challenge to challenge this gym? Yes. Hmm. Then heading headed to the gym. Yeah. Then head to the challenging. Then head to the changing room and change it to your uniform. Then go to the gym mission room. It's alright, man. Go, number 12. Yep, that's me. <sighs> alright. Fighting gym. Oh. Smoky. Playing pinball? What's this? Man, these gym challenges are so unique. Allow me to explain the gym mission for a stone size gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride one of these cuffs and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate this fun attraction. <coughs> rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Rotate it to the left, rotate it to the left to make the cup spin left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of the sticky situation. Now, have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Then on you spin, and good luck. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um, wait. No. Other side. Okay, I think I got the hang of this now. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh, I got a battle right now. You look pretty dizzy. Are you sure you can battle in that condition? I can battle with my hands tied behind my back, man. Ian. Man, you got some sacks under your eyes. Alright, Corvus Squire. Time to try out fly. <laughs> Miss. And skadoosh. Yeah, one hit KO. Take that stubble. Alright, Rillaboom, level 36. Beware. Okay, might be a bit tougher. <laughs> now that I'm time for thinking about camping, Corvid Knight, Corvid Squire. <laughs> I keep I keep saying that. Uh oh. Okay, that didn't do too much. Another drill pack. And you're down, beware. Alright. 
There we go, Corvus Squire, level 35. And Barrascuta, level 31. Nice. I'm dizzy. No, I'm completely dazzled. What an incredible battle. Thank you. Alright. Okay, next one. Oh, what the? Uh oh, went the wrong way. Yeesh. Okay, I think I'm. Yeah, I think got it now. It's like a maze. There we go. Made it. All right, you're up next. Oh, gym mission is like a theme park attraction. What do you think? It is very much like a theme park attraction. Claire. Far. Oh! This is the first time I'm actually seeing Galarian Farfetch'd in, um, in the game. Oh, I still want to catch one, though. Alright, Joe Packet. Oh, wait, he's. Is he part flying? No, I guess not. <laughs> Oh, that was a short sighting. <laughs> Alright, to be clear. What a formidable battle style. I can feel a good sense of balance coming from you. Thank you. Alright, this should be the last stage, maybe? Okay, I believe I have to... I believe I have to go this way. Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, this is kind of confusing. No, I can't, I can't make it over there like that. There we go. Gotta use the momentum, momentum, momentum. Been watching too much dashy. Oh, whoa, what the, hey, what, ooh. Okay, I didn't even have to do anything in the last part. That was fun. Oh yeah, one last battle. Our job is to defeat all the reckless gym challenges. Alright, Simon. Hello, my name is Simon Miller from What Culture? <sighs> Alright. <laughs> He's gonna be petted. Okay. You can take care of that after this battle. Or after the gym challenge. And hit my is down. He one hit. Alright, send the Scorch up to level 31. Nice. Hit my Chan. Send all your hit mons at me. I'll take them all down. Another drill pack. Oh, bullet punch. No oh. Almost got a another Oko. Uh I still got a lot of Joe Packs left. Don't have a lot of whole lot of HP left though. <laughs> Gotta use a potion after this. Alright, Himon Chan is down. Down for the count too. Limp Biscuit, level thirty three. That's why you use Limp Biscuit more. Thank you for reminding me of what it is like to be a gym challenger. Alright, potion time. Uh, super potion. Corvus Wire. And, uh... To start off the battle, I think I'm gonna put a... put in Lid Biscuit first. And then if I have any trouble, I'll switch out to Corvus Choir. Alright, first let's save. And let's do this. I made it! Alright, time to face 
Bea, or Bea, how you pronounce it. I don't think we've ever actually met her beforehand, so this is like our first time interacting with her. Welcome, Jim Challenger. I am Bea. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved, no matter how you are attacked? I think I'll just test that out, shall I? Alright. Ooh. Crane style. <laughs> Him on top. Oh, she does the softball pitch. Okay. So Nessa does overhand. She does underhand. I like that. Okay. Alright. Limp Biscuit, this is your first battle as a uh, unpheasant. So, see what you can do. A uh, decent first attack. Revenge, oh boy. Eee. All right, let's fly. <laughs> Him on top is almost in, t in time with the music. What is, what is dancing? Stance thing. And Tim on top is down. All right. Pangoro. Okay, I'll definitely switch to Corvus Squire now. Wait, how many Pokemon should you have? Does she have three? I didn't check beforehand. Mold Breaker. Okay. Oh, she has four. Oh, wow. I wasn't making that much, that many, <laughs> this quickly. And only the fourth gym. Ooh. Bulky. Uh oh, it's gonna be even more bulky. <laughs> Decreases attack and defense, I think. A oh, special attack, you know. Let's fly. Also, oh, what's her. What what she do when she calls her attack? I haven't been watching. Oh, she has like a. a punch sort of thing. Okay. And Pangoro is down. Alright. Level 36 for Corvus Squire. Not sure what level Corvus Squire evolves. Oh, Surf Fetched. Ooh. Okay, I'll keep Corvus Squire in for this one. First time seeing Surf, Surf Fetched in the game now, too. I still want to catch my own uh, Far Fetched in this game. I'm going to test this, see if. Surf oh, detect. Uh, have to wait till next turn, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm pretty sure Surf Fetch is probably just fighting. If Far Fetch is, then Surf Fetch should be too. Swords Dance, oh man. Uh, fly? Just in case. Revenge. Oh boy, that would have been bad. If it actually landed, that is. Whew. Alright. Sir fetched it down. Only got one more left. I'm not even sure what it could, could be. Ooh, discharge. That could be useful. 80 special. Special attack. Her special attack is a lot better. Uh, I'll give her a flail. I'll only use it. And I doubt her health points when she gets that low. It's gonna be useful anyway. So yeah, discharge. The bear skew to level thirty-two. My either focus. What that do? I'm gonna guess it says yeah, use it concentrates intensely. The attack on the next one always results in a critical hit. I don't think I need agility. It already has a very high speed, so. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. And an automatic critical hit on the next turn. That's amazing. My chat, my champ. <sighs> I could keep Core Squire in, but I want to challenge, so. 
Let's put in. You know, let's put in toxicity. I wanna, I wanna give her some, some experience in this. This is like her first gym battle. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. All right, forearms. Oh, she's going to Dynamax this one, or Gigantamax it, I think. So I'm, I might as well do the same. All right, uh, this one would be 120. This would be 130. All right, let's do that one. Yeah. When I when I have the chance to gigant gigantamax someone, I want Toxtricity to be the first one. Uh, fine then. Let's just destroy everything. I didn't get to read the whole all that. Alright, Gigantamax, my champ. Oh. He has pants. I believe those are pants. And lava coming out of his arms, looks like. Max Lightning. Wow. Woo! Okay. Good opening attack. Max Strike, of course. E. Alright, we got a. Got a kaiju battle on our hands right here. Uh, Max Ooze, maybe? I don't know. I mean, Max Lightning, special t 130, didn't you do half? Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Max Ooze. I just want to see what it Max Darkness. Oh boy. Special defense fell. Oh boy. I didn't do as much as I thought it would. We raised a uh, special attack. So let's use Max Lightning again. Hopefully, we're quicker. Oh, uh, not quicker. Oh man. Oh, toxicity. Sorry. Hmm. Alright. Uh, you know what, Rillaboom? Put you in. And Machamp should be coming back to normal now. Yeah. Alright. Well. Hey. Priya D. I mean, if you want to give me a shiny level 100 Pokemon, then you're free to. Sims Course wants, wants to learn to slam again, huh? Uh, well, physical attack is higher now, but we have so many physical attacks. Yeah, I think I'm fine. All right, beat Bea, or Bea, Bea. I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them in, in battle. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you for the battle. Why oh, she's smiling? Phew, facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team, I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. Thank you. Why is she holding her arm like that? <laughs> Did she hurt her arm? Do code 8291. Okay. I can now catch Pokemon at level 40. 
I hope that you'll meet many trainers and have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Alright. Challenger Speedy, congratulations on beating Leader Bea. Please take this TM to remember your victory by. Revenge, of course. What does the revenge do again exactly? Move attack move doubled. The user has been hurt. Okay, yes, yeah, I thought. And take one of our fighting gym uniforms as well as a souvenir. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Alright. Well, that's the fighting gym done.